In this example, we're going to make a raster query for a square area. So essentially, we're going to look at um, the population density in Europe. So to do so, we launch a new query. The data layer we're interested in is from the survey set and is here just at the top, the global population density. So for the where, we simply paint a rectangle onto the map, some area roughly like this, more or less Europe. Um, so for the where, it's actually very straightforward. Um, we're just interested in a single timestamp, so we just pick this 2015 as suggested. There's no aggregation necessary, so you can complete this. Um, after giving it a name. And then we can submit this to the system. So this is going to run now, but we can simply look at um, the essentially same query that we prepared earlier for this example. So you see this down here. So to click on it, now you see this is sort of what we would expect. Um, there's several things to say about this. So what is actually kind of relevant here is that we can use the settings to change the color scale, okay? So natively, you know, you see there's a bunch of areas here that go into saturation. If we're interested in more detail there, you know, apart from zooming in, we can take the settings and change the maximum value where saturation occurs to, for example, 500 people per square kilometer. So once we do this, you see now the color scheme changes a bit and we see uh, much more structure there. Of course, the price we say pay for this is that in areas of low population, um, things are uh, obviously not as, as fine-grained anymore. So if you compare sort of, you know, this area up here to what's happening here and sort of in uh, maybe in northern Spain, you know, um, there's not that much information available there. So one has to basically adjust the color scale here a bit, you know, to like highlight the areas one is most interested in.